Brennan. It's uh, great talking to you and thank you for taking the time to, to just have a, a quick chat about your time as an ex-JP oarsman and um, to also just talk about the exciting JP Boats and Blades fundraising initiative. Um, so I guess the first question is, why rowing? What, what drew you to the sport? Well, yeah, thanks very much for, for the call. It's, uh, it's fantastic to, to be in touch again with, with the club. Um, and it's a fantastic initiative to, to bring people back in, in touch with, with the club that they may be part of 20, 30, 40 years ago, whatever the case is. Um, it's quite interesting. I, I went to JP. I, I was a swimmer and I, I played water polo in my first uh, season at, at school. Uh, and my mom was a camp mom because my older brother was on, on camp and she didn't have anyone to look after us uh, on, in October when, when she went on camp. So I ended up going along to camp. Uh, I think my little brother went as well um, and, you know, naturally jumped in the boat and, and fell in love with it straight away. Um, yeah, and I think it's uh, kind of history from there. It's, uh, it was definitely the start of something special in, in my life that, that continues now even, so. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, and like you say, that's, uh, I think that's the story of every JP Oarsman, or every Oarsman indeed, you know. You, it's not a, a natural go-to sport, and yet when you do go, and when you do get into that boat, something changes, something just clicks, and it's, it's amazing. Mm. So um, how did the commitment and the team spirit um, during your time at JP and, and rowing with, uh, with your, your crew members uh, impact on your adult life? I think it's, uh, it's quite interesting. You know, it's, uh, when we talk about things like camaraderie, and I, I now work in, in a school with a very transient population. And I think the, the camaraderie is, helps you to identify and helps you to have some kind of belonging to something. Um, and when you've got your back against the wall, like most most JP crews have uh, have in the, in the past, it's you know it's it's that belonging, it's that sense of you know pulling together and pulling for other people um, that kind of pulls you you know pulls you in the right direction and keeps you on board and helps you through the tough times as well. Um, that's definitely been the case. I, I moved overseas uh, well, 16 years ago and. Uh, you know, it's uh, the grass is always greener until you get there, and it's <laughs> minus ten degrees. There's no grass, so it's uh, no. There's times when you have to, you have to, you know, lean back and you have to to call on some of the experiences that you had. Um, I think the commitment. I mean, rowing, you're you're up at four thirty, five o'clock in the morning, and you're, you're camping next to the Vaal River, far away from anyone or anything, or next to Rudderplatz. You know, you you have to be committed. Um, you're only as strong as your your weakest link, I think, and. Um, I was very fortunate to to learn that lesson about commitment from from some fantastic rowers. Um, I was very fortunate. I, I wrote my first year of first eight was ninety eight uh, when we won SA champs, luckily. Um, and I I learned from some of the boys from the ninety seven crew. They won every single race the whole season and lost SA champs. Um, so these boys came back with a whole different understanding of commitment in the second year and. You know, they used to go out and do a two-hour session. And then we had uh, boys like Richard Gaddy and, and Carl Voise used to come off their two-hour session and go and do a 2,000-meter ergo piece, um, try and get better and better every, you know, all the time. And that commitment just becomes infectious. Um, and you learn about the, the time put in and, and how that transfers into results and goals, which is uh, something that will carry you through the, the rest of your life. So, yeah, very important. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, we've, we've uh, before the the interview, we had just a brief chat. But um, what are your thoughts about the JP Boats and Blades initiative? Oh, I think it's fantastic. You know, it's um, it's what I was saying before. You know, there's there's sometimes rumours that that the rowing club might not be uh, as strong as it it was previously, or it might be on its last legs a little bit. And I think everyone's got to jump in and. You know, success breeds success, and to be able to achieve that, you you need to be rowing in in boats and using equipment that that will allow you to be on an even kill with with some of these schools. That um, money is probably less of an issue for. Uh, you know, we were lucky again. Ninety eight, we unwrapped a boat called Democles, um, and we were we were fortunate enough to race a brand new boat uh, as a first aid, and it makes a huge huge difference um, to what you're able to do on the water. So. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's all the small percents, and I think that, that the equipment is, is a massive part of that. Totally agree. So, um, 
from your time at JP Rowing, and I'm sure there's many, many memories, what is the, can you give me one significant memory that you recall with, with great fondness? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I was looking at these questions on the weekend. I've, I've got three, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, go for it. Naturally, winning, winning SA Champs, uh, and we won, I think we won by about two and a half, three lengths, uh, and it was a fantastic day out. Um, no, um, I suppose rumours of potential had gotten around the school, and we had busloads of boys come out to watch. Uh, and it was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, but in that same season, I think we, we lost at Gauteng Champs. Um, and then I'm trying to remember, I don't think we lost again. But we got to uh, Buffalo and we raced Selborne Sprints. And we, um, we won the Selborne Sprints by just over a length. And one of the, the, the fondest memories we have was carrying the boat back to, to uh, the rack. And hearing the St. Stidians coach, who was also the national coach at that stage, just explaining what kind of character we'd, we'd just managed to give the, the Saints boys. So um, <laughs> hearing, that, hearing that was definitely a fun moment for all of us, I think. Um, and then just, uh, I coached for a year. I coached the second eight in, in 2001, and I picked them up at, at Christmas. Um, and I think they, at Gauteng Champs, they'd, they'd come last by about eight or nine lengths. And we, you know, you talk about commitments and camaraderie and everything. We got hold of these boys on the camp and we, we drilled them and drilled them and drilled them every single day. Um, and coming into the second half of the, of the season, we lost SA Champs by a canvas. But uh, that was the first race that, that we lost the entire, entire year, well, the, the second half of the year. And I think that just uh, everything that we, we demanded of the boys that were able to, to hit. And uh, it was tough. It was really tough. But, you know, just seeing this group of guys come together and, and build together and work so hard was uh, definitely one of the fondest memories I have of, of coaching then and coaching sports anyway. I, mean, I, I continue to coach sport, but I, I don't think I've ever come across a, a group of boys like that. So it's very, very, very special. That's fantastic. That's that's such a brilliant story. Thanks, thanks for sharing yeah. it. Nice. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. Um, and that's really what what the JP Spirit's all about. And 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 the thing that keeps the old boys um, involved as well. Not only in rowing, but um, JP as a school as a whole. You know, there's there's that there's that sense of belonging, and that sense of of unity. And it's it's changed all of our lives for the better. So, Renan, thank you, thank you for your time. It was really, really good speaking to you. It's um, a pleasure. For, every, for everybody else out there, um, thanks for listening. And uh, do remember to, to look at the JP Boats and Blades website. That's uh, www.jpboatsandblades.co.za. Thank you for listening. And, um, yeah, keep, keep together, keep running together, keep pulling together for gold.